Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me in this uh, virtual opening reception of my art exhibit. Um, this new collection called Corazón de Agave. Uh, I'm very excited to show you the this um, collection of hear me. Um, the, let's start with this. So the first uh, piece that I want to talk to you about is the main piece, it's called Corazón de Agave. And here we have this piece, it's an, uh, 16 by 20. So as you can see, this, you can get an idea of, of the size. And um, this is based on a picture that I took in, in Guanajuato, in Mexico, uh, of these agaves, and this is a heart that represents the digital age, and um, this has uh, some hands that are offering the hand, uh, the heart to you. Uh, here we have an iguana that is native to, to Mexico, and, and the, representing life. So with this is the, the, the mezcal is pouring the heart and the love um, transform into mezcal. This is the, the, the piece and as I say it's in a um, format of uh, 20 by 16 inches and it's available in, in prints. So the next piece that I want to show you is called Agua Miel. And um, let me tell you a little bit about this piece. Um, so Agua, Agua Miel is the sweetest uh, nectar that, uh, that is the sap that is inside of the, the maguey or agave plant. And um, here we have Mayagüel, which is the, the goddess of, of the uh, mezcal. Uh, and she is standing on top of a green mouth with very sexy green lips, representing the sweetness of the aguamiel. And here we have a hand uh, offering some delicate flowers to the divine goddess. Um, in the back, we have the maguey or agave plant uh, with certain luminosity almost uh, behind the, the, 
the Maya well. So the name of this piece is Aguamiel or honey water. And this is available in an eight by 10 print. Um, and I hope you like it. And I'm gonna then show you uh, this so you can appreciate it. Welcome back. I the next piece that I want to show you is this one, and it's called Patscuaro. Um, Patscuaro. It's a town in the state of Michoacan, and in that region, uh, the Lake of Janitzio. It's uh, very well known because there are important Day of the Dead celebrations around that um, lake. Um, the, there's a legend about uh, a couple and there was this woman who lost her lover, he died, but she was able to be reunited with her lover on uh, Day of the Dead. So the flowers on her head represent the love and um, she's, she's looking forward to see her lover. Um, the she has a tattoo in the back is a monarch butterfly uh, the state of michoacan is where we have the monarch butterfly sanctuary uh, so the the whole um painting is uh, has elements uh, very important to this region so the name of this piece is patscuaro and it's also available in an 8 by 10 uh, print. And now, so you can enjoy it, let me show you this. show you is called Love is Blind. Here we have some graffiti artwork that says love and and here we have this woman whose face is an eye. It's like the representation of the third eye that sees beyond normal perception. Her clothes have symbols and um, that represent her mystic or esoteric powers. Um, even though love is around the corner from her, she, she can see uh, further with her, with her third eye. So the next piece that I wanna show you is called Adelita. So Adelita is a name that uh, usually represents a Mexican warrior, a woman that is very strong, uh, known as soldadera. Uh, Adelitas usually have the traditional braids uh, as a hairstyle. Um, therefore, this is an Adel modern Adelita. And as we can see, she's, she's looking ahead. She's, she's looking into the future. She has some uh, crown of delicate flowers representing the, the, the feminine strength, what she's using to, to face forward. So here I'm gonna show you another video so you can enjoy with in more detail. 
that I'm going to show you is uh, this one called Palenque and um, on this one we have this woman with Sempasuchil flowers on, on her head. Uh, Sempasuchil are known as the Mexican marigold. This woman is wearing a luchador mask. Uh, usually um, this mask uh, um, are the representation of an identity invoking a spirit of, of the, the luchador to perform in, a, the, in wrestling matches. So um, here we have the horse, the horses that are used to um, crunch the roasted uh, agaves to extract the juices and produce the mezcal. On, on the ground we have rose petals that uh, represent the the love that is poured into the process of uh, creating mezcal. So this piece is called Palenque because Palenques are the name of the artisanal distilleries where the mezcal is produced. So uh, Palenque is um, also an eight by 10 uh, available print. The next piece uh, that I want to show you, I'm very excited because um, it uh, brings very special elements for me. Um, the name of this piece is Floreciendo a la Muerte or Blooming Dead. Um, here we have a nagabe plant and it's blooming. And the thing about agaves is they only bloom once in a lifetime. They say that uh, it can take seven years, 17, 15, 17, 20, 50 years maybe. But the interesting thing is only that once they bloom, they are expected to die shortly after. So that's why they say that agaves have kind of a fatalistic life cycle. They live, they bloom and they die. So when you see an agave plant, it's a beautiful thing to see that fulfillment of the life cycle, but at the same time, it's like a death sentence. That's why um, the agave plant is right next to this modern version of a Katrina. It's a very elegant lady with a skull face. And the, the beauty of the moment of, of death um, is represented in, in this piece. Uh, so Floreciendo a la Muerte, uh, Blooming Dead, is also available in an 8 by 10. And here I'm showing you this so you can enjoy a little bit more. So the next piece that I want to show you is Guardian Angel or Angel de la Guarda. Uh, this has really cool elements. First we have this frame of flowers that are like very uh, typical of the state of Oaxaca. Oaxaca is a main state known for mezcal production. 
And um, we have in the center the figure of this um, angel that is the guardian of the agaves that even though there's like an arid and rough land, the agaves are, are thriving. So the, the angel is protecting their grow and their life of these agaves. So this piece is called uh, Guardian Angel or Angel de la Guarda and it's also available in an 8 by 10. And I, I hope you like it. The next piece that I want to show you is Providencia or Providence. Um, so this one has like the eye of God, but this is an, a, a, a little bit different version. It has like some flowers and, and um, some leaves. It has like nature to it. Um, this um, uh, is a divine eye of God, uh, or goddess. So this is um, protecting everything underneath. Here we have these four agave plants or maguey and and they represent um, all the regions where mezcal is produced in in Mexico as uh, they have been uh, growing in, in all across the country so I'm representing the north south east and, and west of of the country where mezcal is being produced here uh, in the center we have a woman wearing um, native clothes, like traditional clothes, which represents that um, the mezcal uh, prosperity also uh, maintains traditions, also maintains the wisdom and, and, and the legacy from, from the ancestors. So this piece is called Providence or um, Providencia and is an 8 by 10 uh, and prints are available. <music> show you is this one La Raza Cosmica or Cosmic Race and this one uh, has an agave in a faraway planet and the agave is reflected on the astronaut's helmet. This piece is inspired um, but I, by an essay of Mexican philosopher Jose Vasconcelos um, who had the idea of a universal race called a uh, cosmic race. He had the idea that we were in an era where people from different ethnics and different religions uh, and different backgrounds could come together as a unity and create the cosmic race and in this case um, portraying the mezcal as the uh, unifying concept to tie the, the, the cosmic race uh, along the agave plant. So this piece, um, Cosmic Race or La Raza Cosmica, it's an 8x10 uh, a print available, but it's also uh, available in the same larger format as Corazón de Agave in uh, 16 by 20. Uh, 16 by 20 print. So that's the end of the collection. I hope you enjoy it. And um, here's an extra uh, little clip for you to enjoy. Thank you so much.
say thank you everyone for joining me on this Facebook Live. Uh, I hope you enjoy the collection and if you have questions uh, and if you're interested in some of these pieces, uh, I will um, provide all the information so you can go to my website artisticadri.com or my Facebook page Artistic Adri or uh, on Instagram as Spicy Mexican. I will send you all the details so you can contact me in any way and I will also be posting the artwork uh, so you can see it uh, later on with more, more detail. And uh, thank you very much again for joining me on, on this creative journey. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I really enjoy it and um, I hope to do this again. Thank you.